318 remaining here in Las Vegas. 80-66, the ace is up over Connecticut. The Carolyn Connecticut's been on a roll late. They've made a push here this quarter. Since the last time out, Connecticut has made seven of 10 of their field goal attempts. And it feels like it. They've also gotten themselves to the line. They've been able to work the offense around better. I think Stephanie White's gotta be happy with that ball movement and the activity with the backdoor cups. Mar Marina Mabry is a perfect three for three yep. during that time. Yep. Mabry off those curl screens. She has 18 points off the bench, two of four behind the arc. She had 15 points off the bench the last time these two teams played. Yeah. That's what she's capable of. She's had the hot hand. There's a cut into the lane by J.O. And the ball batted around. Shot clock down to three. Jackie's shot just short, long rebound. Another chance. Big, big play for the Aces. And the defense once again getting a hand on it. Wilson steps it back. Swish. Asia Wilson. She needs two more. 27 points. And just two away from a thousand in her career. Look, let me tell you how educated <laughs> these fans are. Yeah. They can't hear us on the count. They yeah. are counting how many points Asia Wilson has left to reach a thousand. Yep. Yeah. They know what's going on. They're holding up twos. <laughs> The drive, the miss, Jones on the weak side, the cleanup, Bree Jones. She's I got mean, 17. Even the bench, the players <laughs> on the bench are holding up two yep. fingers. They want this to be number 1,000 for Asia Wilson. Jones trying to stop her. The fader, good! <laughs> Asia Wilson with a thousand career points on the season. The first in WNBA history. And this crowd knows it. A minute and a half remaining. Ace is going for a win 25. And you kick it around to AC around and out. And now the MVP chant is going. Ty Harris not phased by it, though. <laughs> and a timeout called to give her some love. <laughs> Asia Wilson getting smothered by her teammates. That's a special moment right there. This woman has had a historical season. Historical with what she has been able to do. A thousand points in a single season. There's Eva and Roscoe, her parents, the 1,000 signs all over this crowd. Eva's trying to keep track in the phone all the records. Well, good luck, Eva, because I got to get a new shot chart for her. Let me tell you. <laughs> Look, she has a thousand points. She's still got two more games to play, <laughs> right? <laughs> and the team loving it. They know how hard she works. Bucket on the court. He's got the goat. He's got the sign. Oh, she is a bit emotional, and for good reason. <laughs> it's hard not to be. You see the work and the effort that she gives every single day. She had a press <laughs> conference that brought her to tears. Yep. She doesn't do this for herself. She yep. gives everything to this organization, to her teammates. <laughs> and they are still giving her some love. Yep, it's hard not to be emotional as Kate Martin, Queen Edbo have checked in for the Aces as well. Sid Colson back on, you saw her a little bit earlier with a little over a minute left in this one. Aces will go to Seattle.
after the game Tuesday and finish up here Thursday against Dallas. As that one won't go for Tiffany Hayes. Connecticut, they're off this road trip. Finally, they will head back to Connecticut. Their final two games, Minnesota and Chicago at Mohegan Sun. Connecticut was on a run after the defeat. Oh. Tiffany Hayes, Tiffany Hayes taking the charge. This is number 1,000. This is the 1,000th point. First time in WNBA history in the regular season scored by Asia Wilson. You know, Becky Hammond has said it, we've said it, it it's, you run out of adjectives for her. They're, they're just, it's special is the only thing that you could think of because there's not a part of her game that isn't special uh, on and off the floor, special human being. So special, so selfless. I mean, this is the leader that bought the rookie, Kate Martin, the backpack. Yep. She bought her team, her teammates, a cake on Pride Month. Yeah. She takes it upon herself to buy each one of them birthday cakes when it's their individual yeah. birthdays. When they warm up, she has little handshakes or little <laughs> dances with each one of them, yeah. have that special connection. And she has talked all season long about being intentional <laughs> in what she does. And I'm telling you, this season for and the good thing about it, it it ain't over no it's sure not they still got two more <laughs> regular season games asian her seventh season in the wnba and this crowd on their feet this clock winding down as connecticut will get their 11th loss on the season the aces their 25th win on the season and asia wilson finishes with 29 points and 1,000 in her career on the regular season. By the MVP, she put their team on her back. Not only is she scoring points, but what she had done defensively. And speaking of defense, this is yet another opponent the Aces have not allowed to score 80 points. That's been the focus of this team as they are on their quest to possibly three-peat. Go ahead, dance, Asia Wilson. You've earned it. You've earned it. Show them how it's done. Yeah, she doesn't always love that attention being drawn upon her, but uh, much deserved in this one. She's going to get the game ball as well. And She's coming over one. to mom yeah. and dad. Mom and dad, Tiffany Mitchell, we should say. Tiffany's been out due to illness. She's with the team, and she's getting some love from Asia Wilson right now. She's been a big key to this team. They're, they'll be hoping to get her back uh, in Tiffany, their future. Uh, Tiffany and Asia were teammates at South Carolina. Marina Mabry telling her congratulations as well. And her mom and dad, she gives so much credit to all that they've done for her throughout her career, the support that they've had throughout her career. And Eva and Roscoe, you've done a lot right with this young woman. You got that right. <laughs> no doubt about it. If they can bottle that right and sell it, they make a mint. Listen, they can make a candle out of that, Carol. <laughs> yeah, they need to. <laughs> oh, really something, really something. The Aces, their 25th win on the season. They are going to try to finish out. They want to stay in one of the top four spots. They want to play for this crowd. They want home court advantage in the playoffs. They absolutely do. And with the way that they're playing right now, and you ask Becky Hammond, she really doesn't care where they finish. Yeah. She just wants them to keep getting better and get in playoff form. And I'm going to tell you, Krista, they are moving in the right direction. Take a look at the updated standings. The Liberty remain up top, but you can see below, it has been quite a race throughout the season. The Storm, a game and a half behind these aces. And the Indiana Fever, the Mercury, that eighth spot is still a question mark. 
as to who that final team will be making their way to the playoffs. But one thing we do know, the Aces are going to be there. They're just going to try to stay home with home court advantage to play in front of these fans. And we are joined now by Asia Wilson. Asia, congratulations. I don't even know where to start. Uh, 50 straight games, double figures. Oh, maybe the 1,000th career <laughs> point. Did you know during the game that it was going on? Um, at the second half. The second half is when it was really kind of rock and roll time in a sense. Yeah. Um, my teammates were just like, all right, come on. They, if anyone's going to let me know anything, my teammates are going to make sure I know exactly what's going on. So, um, yeah, it was fun. I'm glad I could finally get it. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you got to appreciate, how much do you appreciate the education or the knowledge of these fans? Oh. Because when it came down, you only needed two more yes. points. Everybody <laughs> here, they were holding up two fingers. They knew. Incredible. I mean, I, I, I'm so grateful to be a part of just a franchise and a fan base that shows so much love. I mean, we have people here in white shirts and gray sweatpants. Like, it's incredible. And then I think it kind of hit me when I saw everybody literally stand up when I got the basketball. I was like, whoa, well, wait, what? <laughs> like, this is pressure. Uh, but no, you got to love fans like that. The fans that are really in tune with the game are the best ones. I think no big surprise that the way you got that, that final bucket was exactly the way you've been getting so much. Oh, yeah. You have got that <laughs> jumper down. Let's watch it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. You know, Simone Biles has a gymnastics move named after her. <laughs> this has got to be the Asia Wilson. The Asia Wilson. And it's crazy right and it's going right. So, Ricky Asia's somewhere smiling because I never would have <laughs> thought a big point like this would be going right. So. I love my teammates. Jackie was looking at me like, what you want to do? And I'm like, girl, you got the ball. What do you want me to do? Uh, so no, it was, a, it was a huge, huge moment. I'm so glad my teammates, and I'm glad I was home to do it. I got a question for you. I know you and your mom have a candle business. Yes. What would a thousand point candle smell like? Mm. I feel like it has to be a sweet smell because mm. it's just the moment is that sweet that you got to do like, that nice little spice. I don't know what kind of sweetness we can get into it. Something maybe citrus, something. I don't know. Okay. It's going to be coming up soon, just okay. to let you know. Burn <laughs> wax is about to get a 1K. A I think 1K your mom candle. said it was already in the works, so it's already <laughs> being melted down as we go. We'll see what it smells like. Right. So we talk about two more games in the regular season. Your yeah. focus has been there, but important. You want to play here and get that home yes. court advantage. Is yes. that kind of where your mind is as well? Huge, yes. Uh, that's that's so key going into playoffs. I mean, sometimes seedings you can't really work out, but if you can at least get your home court, uh, that's a big step. So that's our main focus. Uh, we take every game like it's a playoff game, like it was today, like it was in Indiana, and we're going to keep chipping away. Uh, this is where we're playing for games further along, not just the necessarily one in front of us. This has been a roller coaster kind of a season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Becky has told me that you all have been consistent at being inconsistent, yeah. except for this last week. Yeah. The consistency is starting together. Do you feel like now this team has gotten all on the same page, has understood the assignment? as you make your run into the playoffs. Yes, I think we're starting to understand where we are in the season, which is like playoff time. And I think it kind of all hit us at the same time. We were kind of going into different things and we're still recovering from Olympic break, but I think now as a whole, we're like, no, it's go time. And so uh, I think we're getting that at the right time of the year. So now we just got to go out there and play the basketball that we know how to play. Boy, Asia, it's had a playoff feel, no doubt. The last, when we were in Indiana, we thought, okay, this is starting to get a playoff feel about right. it. And I, I, think, right. I think we're starting to see it. Um, you got you got your 1,000th uh, yes. regular season career point, uh, season point for the day. When you think about the league and the scores that there have been, are you surprised that somebody hasn't gotten there? Or just kind of tell us the work that's gone in, what you've had to do to get to this point this year. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, I, it actually did surprise me because I'm like, huh? Like, Come on now, we there's some buckets in this league, uh, more plenty, uh, but it was pretty surreal. But it was just one of those things that I didn't understand that it was in reach. It didn't really hit me until the second half where I was like, oh no, this is doable. Because you think about these things and you see these things and people break down my stats, but I'm like, oh, that still seems like it's far, far away. But like now to live in it, um, I'm living my dream. And so I'm, I'm so grateful to be able to say that I'm here. And then now I know someone's going to crush it soon. They're going to be 2,000 <laughs> points in the season. So I'm going I'm I'm to hold on to it now while I got it. Well, <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you for letting us be a part Thank of the history you. that you are making yep. this season. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate you so much. Great job. We'll see you in Seattle. Two more games to go on the regular season. Roscoe and Eva, so proud of this young woman and all she's done. Nobody's leaving this arena, Carolyn. Everybody's oh, no. still hanging out. They want to give some more love to Asia Wilson as she got her 1,000th regular season point with that final jumper and getting some love from 
All these fans here inside Michelob Ultra Arena chanting MVP. They are hopeful that she'll get another one of those awards. Got the finals MVP last year, but didn't get the regular season. It's something that she's just been so consistent all year with, with all parts of her game, Carolyn. Chris, I know what we're going to do as we fly to Seattle. We're going to have to go through the record books and see what <laughs> is the next record for Asia Wilson to break right? with as many that she has broken this season. Oh, my goodness. It's hard to keep up. It really is. I just keep using different colored highlighters, <laughs> and I'm trying to keep it all straight. <laughs> and it's just been so difficult to do. She's challenging us as much as she's challenging her opponents, I think. But a big win for the Aces here. They continue to roll. They had a nice four-game road trip they're coming off of. And I think she's right. It feels like playoff mode. There's some of the other scores around the league. Teams that are still fighting to stay in. The Mercury up over the sky right now. The Sparks oh. have had a little comeback. Yes, it's a one-point game in Seattle. Those games matter as far as seeding goes. A loss by the Storm could absolutely help the Aces out. So the Sparks making a push. They were down big in that one. Yeah, they, big still got, they got 50 seconds left in, the, in Seattle. And the Mystics in an overtime tough loss to them. Atlanta keeps their hopes alive for the playoffs as well. Minnesota has been rocking and rolling as of late. They, to me, are a very scary team right now. Here's the thing that Minnesota has is they are a very tough defensive team. They're strong on the glass, and they're unselfish. And they have scores, so they're willing passers which make you work on the defensive end. And, and the other thing that I have seen from Minnesota, the tenacity in the second half, you may be in the ball game. You may even have a slight lead. Yeah. You may have a large lead. <laughs> it doesn't matter when you play Minnesota because they got that grit. Oh, yeah. And they are able to pull it off and bring it home, winning in the second half. They are having some record kind of seasons by players that weren't having those a year ago. Carlton, Bridget Carlton, Alana Smith. This was a team that was pieced together. I think Cheryl Reeve, there were so many question marks coming into the season. Would they gel? Oh, yeah, they gelled. They gelled really early on. Absolutely. When they brought in Courtney Williams, I think that that yes. was big for them because she provides the mid-range. Kayla McBride. She's having a phenomenal season. And Asia Wilson, Buckets, and the <laughs> GOAT are having a great time on the court today. I love it. The 1,000 points for Asia Wilson in this one. These fans, they're sticking around. They are going nowhere. That's going to do it for us. For those of you watching on CBS, that's it from Las Vegas. Thanks for being with us and watching some history. And then for the rest of you, stay tuned. We've got much more coming up.